Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The development of the naval industry in recent centuries has brought great advances, but some incidents somewhat cloud these developments. Of these incidents, it is possible to say that oil spills are among the most notable. These have had long-lasting and wide-ranging effect on the ecosystem from decades ago. Since the 1970s, there has been an annual average of seven tons of oil spills, the sources of which have resulted from pipeline breaks, tanker accidents, or offshore platform explosions. The ecological and economic consequences of these accidents have led to further improved safety conditions on ships and platforms. This has occurred thanks to research centers and laboratories with equipment that better understand the effects and characteristics of these spills and create systems that mitigate or prevent such incidents. One of these centers is the OMSET, a U.S. facility for testing, training, and research related to oil spill response and marine energy technology. This facility has one of North America's biggest above-ground test tanks, which is 665 feet long and holds nearly 2.6 million gallons of water. Alongside a wave generator to simulate realistic open ocean conditions, the testing facility can operate oil spill response simulations using full-scale booms, skimmers, dispersants, and detection sensors. Here, the engineers use real oil to provide accurate performance data. Also, this location is a hands-on training site for oil spill responders with actual equipment. Thanks to the testing done in places like OMSET, different companies are taking advantage of the data to develop and implement new technologies to combat these problems. One of these technologies that has shown great potential to be used as a tool to mitigate oil spills are drones and other unmanned aircraft. Their features allow drones to be quickly deployed to the sites where the incident has occurred, which is a great advantage over other vehicles, such as ships or manned aircraft. Once in the air, they can safely monitor oil spills in these environments, keeping response teams out of harm's way. In addition to tools to monitor these events, spills are treated with specialized vessels that can respond quickly during emergencies. The so-called oil spill response vessels are specialized ships designed to detect contain, and clean up oil spills in marine environments. They can carry and deploy containment booms to encircle and isolate the oil spill. Then, skimmers, sorbent pads, and vacuum systems are used to remove oil which is stored on board in dedicated tanks and transferred to barges for transport to disposal centers.
Some classes of these vessels have hydraulic systems to quickly connect with the recovery equipment, as well as integrated oil-water separators to improve efficiency by separating oil from water on board. This use of tools to capture and store oil has been developed in recent decades to achieve more efficient work by capturing the greatest amount of material possible using minimal resources. This has caused the creation of technologies such as the oleo sponge, which, unlike traditional methods that primarily target surface oil, focuses on creating reusable and efficient absorbance capable of extracting oil. It uses polyurethane foam mixed with inorganic materials like metal oxides for oleophilic and hydrophobic properties. This use of advanced materials to be implemented in oil capturing can be seen in some oil scoopers with a mesh of PET, PMMA, and carbon which traps the oil but allows water to pass through. These great advances have been driven by the long history of spills that have happened during the last 50 years. Certainly, one of the most infamous incidents is the Exxon Valdez oil spill which occurred on March 24, 1989, when the Exxon Valdez oil tanker beached on Bly Reef in Prince William Sound in Alaska, spilling crude oil into the coastal waters. The tanker was carrying 53 million gallons of crude oil, and after striking the reef, its single hull design ruptured releasing approximately 11 million gallons, spreading across 1,100 miles of coastline. The investigations concluded that the crew, including Captain Joseph Hazelwood, failed to navigate the tanker safely, partly due to inadequate rest and impaired decision-making. Its immediate effect was the deaths of tens of thousands of seabirds, 2,800 sea otters, 300 harbor seals, bald eagles, and 22 orcas. Decades later, over 21,000 gallons of crude oil remain buried in the coastal sediments. While many species and ecosystems have recovered, Pacific herring populations and others remain significantly below pre-spill levels. This has affected the local community's subsistence fishing and economic activities. However, this is not the only incident that has caused international alarm. There are others that are even more serious and have occurred more recently. This is what happened in 2010 when the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig suffered a catastrophic explosion, releasing an estimated 134 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico over 87 days. All was triggered by a failure in the blowout preventer when uncontrolled oil and gas escapes managed to bypass the valves of the BOP. Additionally, a combination of technical malfunctions of other monitoring sensors, flawed decisions, and ignored warning signs led to the disaster. After this, extensive efforts were made to mitigate the spill, including using 2 million gallons of dispersants to break up the oil. Despite this, 
1,300 miles of coastline and several marine habitats were contaminated. Cleanup continued for years, with visible oil still present in affected areas as late as 2014. This rapid response by emergency services not only occurs during large events, such as the Deepwater Horizon, but they must also be prepared for smaller events, such as monitoring and cleaning ports in the event of fuel or other chemical spills. An example of this is an incident in the Los Angeles Harbor when diesel fuel overflowed from a storage tank, which allowed the fuel to drain into the harbor. To solve this incident, the Coast Guard identified the source of the spill, which was followed by the cleanup using containment booms and absorbents collecting the oil. The need to resolve these incidents quickly, reducing their consequences as much as possible, has allowed the military forces to get involved in accelerating these mitigation processes. Certain Air Force squadrons conduct training exercises specifically for these situations, where each member learns about fire prevention, environmental management, and water and fuel systems. These exercises focus on understanding and improving the oil spill prevention and response plan. This training ensures that airmen can handle spills at home stations and deployed environments, minimizing environmental and operational disruptions. They practice preventing spills from contaminating storm drains, soil, and other sensitive areas. Simulated scenarios allow participants to practice deploying containment tools like booms and absorbents. During real operations, the Air Force helps other emergency teams use transport aircraft like the C-130 Hercules to deliver tools and disperse chemical solvents over the oil. These aerial dispersants help break down oil into smaller droplets, enhancing natural degradation and reducing the environmental footprint. In the case of the Navy, its members have more direct contact with the incident by having to provide control, containment, and cleanup tasks. Their squadrons use a structured three-tier system and specialized response assets to ensure they can bring rapid and effective action during spill incidents. This tiered framework is based on severity, resource requirements, and response times. Along with the naval forces, the Coast Guard is a key element in the cleanup and containment of these contaminating events. Like the military forces, the Coast Guard carries out constant training to be aware of all the possible situations that can occur in a disaster of this style in addition to learning how to handle marine capture and cleanup equipment. Their responsibilities include implementing strategies outlined in the area contingency plans and collaborating with federal, state, and local agencies to ensure rapid and effective responses. The serious consequences that oil spills have caused throughout modern history have motivated the development of innovative technologies and efficient methodologies that seek to mitigate and eventually completely stop these incidents. These events have also allowed for greater ecological awareness in other aspects and the implementation of technology to protect the environment. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.